going to explain to you trait cleaning. And here's my patient here, and I'm going to go ahead and take my water, and I've already opened it for the trait section, put the lid up, pour over the labeled side to cleanse the spout, and again for the peroxide, I'm go going to do the same thing. I think I'll pour over the red part here so I'll know where I've poured over. So I have the spouts that are clean, and I'm going to take my clean gloves and take off the old dressing. I'll put it in my hands and get rid of that. Throw it in the trash can. And then I can open up my kit right here. And I have a pair of sterile gloves. Remember, you always want to put them on where your hand is pointing up. And we'll put this other one on under the cup. Point your hand up. And let me see what I have here. Okay, I have a sterile dra drape here that I'm going to put the shiny side down. So I'll set it on my table. Remember, this is sterile right here. And I'll take my stuff out so I can see what I have. So I have pipe cleaners to clean the inside of the tubing and a little brush to clean it and a couple Q-tips. And this right here is called a drain sponge and you'll also hear it referred to as a slit dressing or a split dressing. So that's your drain sponge, it's a slit or split. And then here's some extra things to clean with. And then this is an extra holder. See this holder up here? It's a little nicer because it has Velcro around it. But if it gets soiled and you need to replace it, this is kind of a temporary holder. And when you replace it, you just want to make sure that you keep one side tied while the other one is being replaced because you don't want both sides to be undone and maybe if they cough or something, this whole thing comes out. So you want to have one side tied while the other side is being rearranged. Okay, at this point, if you look carefully, I can touch the inside of this because my gloves are sterile. So I'm going to make this into my little trash can. So I can lift this on the inside and I can lift this on the inside, but if I touch it on the outside, then I'm, I've contaminated it. So at this point, now I'm going to establish a non-sterile hand, which is going to be my left hand, and I'm going to get some water and I'll just pour it right here. And you don't want to go over your sterile field at all, so I'll go around it here. And then there is your hydrogen peroxide. So this is my dirty hand. So I'll just start with the outside right here. And I'm going to take some peroxide and put it on my Q-tip. Let's say it's a little bit crusty up near the opening. So I'm going to swab from inner to outer and I can rotate the Q-tip. And then I want to pull it around my sterile field, around my field here, and put it in the trash. And I can also do that with the peroxide on the top. I don't think you can see that very well, but this hand is contaminated, I'm holding, and this hand is sterile. And I'll swab from inner to outer and go around my sterile field. Once you have used peroxide, if you will take sterile water, and use that to clean off the peroxide because the peroxide tends to use a little film to have a little film. So there's your water right here and we are going to clean with the water. If you clean with this tweezer thing then you're less likely to contaminate yourself. And the next one we'll do the same and clean the outside. <laughs> having trouble with this. Okay, I'm just going to do it with my hand here for just a second here. Alright, I'll be really careful right here on the upper part and clean on the outside. Come from inner to outer. 
Okay, now we can go ahead and take out your trach tube. Just be really careful. And you only want to touch it right up here. You don't want to touch this part. And this is not contaminated because we didn't re-dip in it. So we can put your tube in here and get your little brush. And this is my sterile hand here. This is my non-sterile hand. So I'm holding on, on the non-sterile part of here. I'm just going to brush it really good in the middle. And then I'm going to take my brush out. And it's not clean anymore, so I'll put it in the trash. And then I'll rinse it in the water here. And you can tap it to make sure that you don't leave any water in there. And then use your little pipe cleaner and go through it to clean out the inside and pull it all the way through. And you can use, there's another one up here if you need to use it. And then if it's still wet, you can go ahead and clean it off right here like this. So now it's ready to go back. So at this point you can take it and put it back. I'm changing hands right now because I've finished cleaning it. I just need my dominant hand to help. I'm going to use this final one right here to just clean this off right there. So now it's back in. It's working. I don't need any of this stuff anymore, so I'm going to take the drain sponge and I'm going to place it on one side of the patient and then the other side. And it's been sufficiently cleaned and hopefully you learned how to do it. Thank you. See if you can answer these questions.